Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today is the start of the Ulta Beauty, of Ulta Beauty's 21 Days of Beauty and I wanted to come on here and give my recommendations for things that I think you should get during the sale and also share some of the things that I want to pick up as well. And there's a little overlap in there as well. So I'm not gonna go through everything that they've done but I will go through the things that I think are most worth it. So the first thing I would recommend is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And this is a diamond or platinum only offer on September 2nd, so that is tomorrow, Monday. And I love this stuff. This is, I've used quite a bit of it, as you can see. I have a few of these that I picked up when they were on sale, and I have some minis as well. I really, really like this. I think it is a great cleanser, so I would totally recommend this. That's my first one. And I should say that all of these that I am talking about are gonna be 50% off during their respective day on sale. So just know that they're 50% off unless I say otherwise when it comes to the hot buys. All right, next is also on the second, and that is the Ofra highlighters. And I have a few of them. I have Rodeo Drive, and they're in the old packaging, so I'll show you what the new packaging looks like too. I have Blissful, the Nikki Tutorials one, Everglow. I have Star Island, and then I also have Pillow Talk. And I'm not sure if this is the packaging you'll get on it, or if you'll get something like this, because they seem to sometimes come in different packaging. So it'll be one of these, either the white, fully white, or the white with the clear lid. The two that I recommend the most are Pillow Talk, which is this gorgeous pink shade. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It is so gorgeous. There it is, swatched. It's so glowy. It's one of my favorite highlighters of all time. The other one I really love is Star Island. This is my other one, my other main recommend, but these are also very light shades. So keep that in mind if you are super parallel, these are gonna look really nice on you. I love them. I'm gonna swatch the other ones really fast for you as well. So this one is Blissful. It's a little bit darker. I don't wear it quite as much because it is darker. Then we have Rodeo Drive, which is kind of like the classic. I think almost everybody probably has Rodeo Drive at this point. And it's just that really gold shade. It's not even showing up on my hand because of the other ones. There you can kind of see it right here. And then my final one that I have is the Nikki Tutorials one. I'm gonna swatch it with my thumb. I do swirl it around the middle so you get all of them. So it's gonna be a little darker, but you can just do one shade at a time. With these, I'm also planning to pick up another one. I know I have a lot of them. I wanted one of the Nikki Tutorials, but I know that they separated these into three different ones, and I could not find out what the lightest shade was. She has two light shades out right now, so I thought about getting one, but then I decided not to. But the one I really am going to pick up is Glaze Donut. I've heard really good things about Glaze Donut, and it looks nice and pretty and pale, and I think it will go nicely with my Pillow Talk and my Star Island. All right, on September 4th, there are going to be a lot of uh, K-beauty or Korean beauty products, and I have two of them that I've gotten in subscription boxes that I really do enjoy, so I wanted to point them out and give you a heads up that they were going to be 50% off and they're not too badly they're not too expensive in the first place so these are going to be a really great deal this first one is the no problem problem by touch and soul this one I haven't opened yet but I have had a sample of it in the past and I really liked it so I think it's a good primer and then this one I was a little I wasn't sure what to think about it it is the no problem prime essence also by touch and soul and I love this. It did leak a little bit, which frustrated me because the cap doesn't stay on super tight. So if you're traveling, it's not a good travel primer, but it really has been making my makeup last a nice long time. I've been using it the past week or so and I've been super impressed. So I would recommend both of these. Those are online only as well, just to let you know. 
The, I don't have my notes here, so you're gonna see me glancing down every once in a while. The next one that I recommend is from Philosophy. This is also an online only, and this is September 6th. This is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Face Wash. I really like this one. You're gonna see that this one I got when they did the sale at Sephora, it was a Black Friday one, but I really like this um, cleanser. It has little beads in it, so that's super nice. It gives you a little bit of exfoliation, but it also has enough of a lather so that if you use like a cleansing brush or the like, you can still get that. It does have a light scent, but it's not nearly as scented as their other Philosophy wash. My next recommend, I don't have a physical one to show you right now because I have the old pans of it before they redesigned it. And I also have a lot of the colors in my Natural Loves palette. So keep that in mind. I still am recommending them. And if I didn't already have them in the old uh, packaging, I would get these again. This is the Too Faced palette. So they're the Natural Love and the Natural, I can't remember the other one. I love Too Faced shadows. I think they go on super nice. They're a good everyday palette because they're gonna have a lot of neutral colors that you can wear every day. I think they're good palettes, so I would recommend those. I also would recommend, oh, those were on sale on the 8th. I would also recommend the palettes that are on sale on the 10th, which are the 2D Fruity palettes, and I do have both of those right here. This one is the Sparkling Pineapple, and this is the Razzle Dazzle Berry. Now, this is the one I reach for more, the pineapple one. I didn't know what to think about it at first because it looks pretty standard and boring. It's a little shiny, sorry. But, oh my gosh, I love this. This gold is really, like, you have to be careful with the gold. But the green, I love this green. And then I also really like this gold here on the end. And the mattes, like, the matte formula of Too Faced, I think, is just fantastic. I'm never upset with them. So that's what those three shades of the glitters look like, the shimmers. I really love this palette. I wear it a ton. I actually, like, it's one of my favorite palettes to go, go to palettes for work and when I don't do colorful eyeshadow looks. All right, the other one is the Razzle Dazzle one. I don't reach for this one quite as much just because of the color story, but it is also gorgeous. I find it a little intimidating because there's so many dark colors in here. That's the only thing. They smell amazing though. The same thing with the gold. This one is like a super soft um, shadow. So keep that in mind and don't go to town too much on them. I ran out of space to swatch. So that is what they look like. Like this one is gorgeous. And I just need to get a little bit more confidence and wear them more often. It's nothing wrong with the palette. It's just my own inhibitions about doing really bold looks and really dark looks. Like bold is easier for me than dark and there's a lot of darker shades in that palette. All right, on the 12th, I would recommend the Tarte Mascara Lights Camera Lashes. I grabbed the splashes by mistake. This is just the little travel size, but this is like my favorite mascara. I really love this. It stays in place. It doesn't budge. If you've watched my channel before, you know that I get a lot of flaking and transferring under my eyes. And this is one of the mascaras that consistently does not budge. It stays on my eyes until I take it off with makeup remover. Then on the 13th, also with Tarte, we have their Tarte blushes and then the Tarte highlighters. Now the highlighters I do like, I don't reach for them a lot, but I do reach for the blushes a lot. So I'm gonna start with the highlights. This one is Stunner, and then I also have Expose, which is going to be the lighter shade, and I'll swatch them really fast. They, one thing that drives me nuts is that they are magnetic, so if you're trying to like swatch them, they wiggle around in the palette. So that is Exposed, and that is Stunner. I think they're really lovely highlights. I started wearing my Tarte highlights a little bit more this summer and I was like, why, where have I been? Why haven't I been using them a lot? Now I know I have more of these and I did find other ones but they aren't sold on the Ulta website so I just brought the ones that are. So I wanted to show you Captivating, which is this one. 
See, as you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but that is what it is. I swatched that one a little more vigorously than I sh probably should have, but that one's really pretty. I love the Tarte blushes because they stay a really long time. They're drier br blush and they are very matte. This one is Seduce, so that's the next one. And as you can see, like there's a wide variety wide range of shades. I know I have doll faces, but I don't know where it is right now. I'm still trying to organize makeup and go through all of my collection and kind of test everything and decide what I should pass on and what I need to keep. So I'm not sure where some of my things are right now, but I do recommend the Tarte blushes and highlights. Also on that day are two palettes. It's kind of tricky because they aren't listed themselves, but when you click on the link, they are part of the collection that is shown. And those are the Lorac unzipped palettes. And I have unzipped and unzipped gold. I love these palettes. Oh my gosh, I've reached for these so much. This is what the unzipped looks like. Kind of reminds me of the Naked 3 palette, like that color story. I love the shimmers in this. It's so pretty. So like there's one, the mattes are really nice too. They go on super nice. That's what they look like, gorgeous. And then the gold, I wasn't gonna recommend it and then I looked at it and I was like, dang, I need to use this one more. It has a really good color story too. It's not like super gold, but it has some lovely shimmers and some nice mattes in there as well. It's a bit warmer toned than the original and I think that's why I just wasn't thinking about it as much. So those are them. I would re really recommend the Lorac palettes. Next up are the Lime Crime Highlight palettes. And I have two of them with me. I also have the Fairies one. I'm not really sure where it is. I think it's kind of buried behind under other things. I just picked up, not this one, this one. So I haven't even swatched this one. I did find this for less than what they are selling them for. At TJ Maxx, they were $12.99, so keep that in mind. This one does like have, it's not as smooth as it should be. Like it looks like they might have had some issues like with shipping. So these are the shades in Opal, in the Opal's palette, really pretty. If you want something really fun, I think these are great palettes. And then the other one that I have here today is the Angels palette. And there are also three shades in there. And that's what they look like. Really pretty. This one I took with me because it's, while they're still like a definite color to them, they're a little bit more subtle than like the Fairies palette or some of the other ones. They have like a unicorn one, maybe a mermaid one. They're fun. I really like them. The main thing that I recommend, and you're gonna see that I have a, just a lot of them, are the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Oh, I forgot to say, those online only Lime Crane palettes are on the 14th. These are going to be on the 19th, so almost at the end of the 21 Days of Beauty. I have eight of them to swatch and to show you. This is also one of the things that I am going to pick up. I wanna pick up the shade Messy Bun, I've heard one of my favorite YouTubers, Tiffany Dawn, she was recommending it, so I think I'm going to pick it up. The first shade I have is Stone. That's what it looks like. It's more of a light purple mauve color. Then we have Bittersweet, which is a very vibrant red. This was originally part of their holiday collection, but then they sold them separately, which was super nice. This is Strawberry Pop. I did buy that set though. The Strawberry Pop was also part of it. I love this color. It is so pretty. It's just like a pinky red, blue based red. Love it. Then we have Warm and Fuzzy. This is another one that I love and I swear quite a bit. It's just like the perfect everyday go-to shade. So nice. I should show you the toe foot applicators on these two. This one is Lazy Daisy. That's the next one right there. It's kind of similar to stone, but a little less purple. So that's what the doe foot applicator is. It has a nice little dip in it. They're really nice for putting liquid lipstick on, I found. 
Then we have Los Angeles. So if you're jealous, I love this color. I was like, well, I like that color, but I really like that color. It's great. These last really well as well, which is good when you're trying to go all day. This one is Talk is Chic. And this one I got in a BoxyCharm. I was so excited to get it. Great, great color. Then the last one I have is Rosebud. And it's a really light shade. So I think Messy Bun will be nice as well. I also have the Minnie Mouse one, Ladies First. But that one isn't going to be on sale. I'm really excited to get all of, uh, another one in Messy Bun. And I would recommend all of those. Last thing that I recommend is the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is my go-to moisturizer. I love it. As you can see, this one's almost done and I have a, another backup or two, but I'm trying to use up some other moisturizers, so I probably won't pick it up the sale, but I'm kind of sad about that. I love this moisturizer. It's so good. All right, so the other things I'm going to pick up that are the one day only specials through the 21 Days of Beauty. I forgot to say the Clinique is on the 20th. It's almost the last day. So I wanna get the Ofra Highlighter in Glazed Donuts. I wanna get the MAC Liquid, or they have the MAC Lipstick in Diva. I love MAC's lipstick formula. Their matte and their satin are two of my favorite lipstick formulas there are. So I wanna pick up another one. It's gonna be 50% off. That is on the 5th. On the 9th, there is a Peach and Lily Serum that I'm interested in. I was hoping, like many people, that it would be in the August Glossy Box, not Glossy Box, Boxy Charm Box, but a lot of us got a mascara instead. So I'm kind of interested in that. I'm hoping that I can pick that one up. On the 10th, it's an online only, but it's the DHC Cleansing Oil. I've tried it. It's a pretty good cleansing oil. I always wear, use a cleansing oil in the morning and my Josie Marin is so expensive. So I was thinking about getting this one in the interim and then buying Josie again in the spring during the Sephora sale. That's what I'm thinking anyway. On the 13th, Clairsonic brush heads are going to be 50% off. This is when I stock up for the year. If you go in store and you order online, you can get double. Or if you're getting more than one thing, like different types, you should be able to buy more than just two online. So if you get like two of the regular and two of the acne, which is my hope. Anyway, that's what I'm hoping. Then the Dose of Colors Messy Bun, that's my next one. Going on to the hot buys that start on the first, so start today, and then go through the end of the 21 Days of Beauty. And they're usually about 30% off or so. There are three things that I wanna pick up. One of them, I looked at how expensive it is. I think I probably won't pick it up now, but it was on my list. That is the Beauty Bakery Blush Palette. It looks super cute, but it's still like $26 with the 30% off. I'm trying to be more careful about spending money, so I don't know if I'll get it. We'll see, it might magically make its way into a cart sometime. Then the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Dots are going to be 30% off. I almost bought some of these during the recent Sephora sale because I go through them quite often and there's something that I always am picking up, but I'm really glad I didn't because I'm going to be picking up probably at least two tins of those during the sale. They're also one of my recommends in this here you'll see here in a second. And then the other one that I'm interested in getting is, is super expensive still, but it is the Kate Somerville Retinol Serum. I love retinol and I'm trying to find, I like one that I get here locally, but I kind of want something that I can get more regularly. So I might try that one depending on where my budget is and how fast it sells out. All right, the recommends for the hot buys. So like I said, I'm going to be picking up some of these, but they are, are, are also a recommend. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Dots. You get 12 per little sheet like this, and then you get like six of them. I think there's 72 in the thing. I've noticed that they've gone up though. So definitely get them now that they're on sale. But I really like them. The acne cleanser is good too, don't get me wrong. 
but that's my the highlight of their acne collection then I'm not sure how much this is going to be because they don't have a percentage off it's just listed as different prices and since I'm filming this Saturday afternoon instead of on Sunday I'm not sure what price they're gonna put on this but it is the crystallized highlighter from Smashbox plus the Hood Witch, whoever that is. And this is just a gorgeous highlighter. I love this highlighter. It's really holographic. It has a lot of different shades to it. It's so pretty, but it's not like overbearing either. You can't barely see it on my knuckles there. So anyway, definitely recommend that one as well. The final thing that I would recommend are the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks that are going to be 30% off. I have several of them that I'm going to swatch for you. Some of them are minis, some of them are full size. So the first one I have is a Malay Shimmer and I love the shimmer formula. I know not everybody likes shimmer formulas, but I do. So that's the first one, that's Malay Shimmer. Then I have two other shimmers. Let's keep the shimmers together. That probably makes the most sense. Let's see, I have Perla, or no, Patina Shimmer, not Perla, Patina Shimmer. I wear this one so much. I'm not gonna be surprised if that goes pretty soon, but I'm not gonna buy any more of these until I use up some of them. Then I have the Bezo Shimmer, which is another gorgeous one. I love this one. This one's great around the holidays. It's oh, super gorgeous anyway. Then we have our regular ones. I have Patina. I have a full size of Patina. It's really just a really pretty shade. Good everyday shade. If it's a little dark for you, you can go down a shade, which is Perla which is also really nice. I do like that one. Then we have one that I wear quite a bit. This is Fiore. It is a nice hot pink. I love hot pink shades, so I do wear that one quite a bit. This one and Gossip Girl by Huda are like go-tos in the summer. And then finally, I have just the regular Beso, not the shimmer one, so you can kind of see what they look like next to each other. That is it for my recommendations and my wish list for Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. If there are things that you love, leave them in the comments down below or things that you're thinking about getting, leave those down below too. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.